Infographics are a great way to visually represent information for your learners. And if you're wanting to know a quick and easy way to create your own infographic, you are in the right place. Hey, it's Jeff with yourlearningcareer.com. I love to use infographics in a variety of projects. I love them because they're so versatile. I can use them in presentations. I can use them as handouts. I can put them in job aids. Uh, I can even put them into an interactive e-learning course. So there's a whole lot of things I can do with infographics. But for me, I know in the past, it has been a challenge to try to create an infographic from scratch. Now I use Canva whenever I need to do an infographic and I'm able to do it super quick and easy. And that's what I'm gonna show you today. Now, if you're not familiar with Canva, it is an awesome program. Um, you can use it to create all kinds of stuff. So if you are doing any kind of training design in any capacity, you need to have this as part of your toolkit. And one of the best parts about it is it is free. If you don't have Canva yet, use the link in my description below. All right, so the project that I'm creating this infographic for is a new employee orientation or a new employee onboarding course. And you can see on this slide, I have a timeline with the company's history. And I think this is a great opportunity for an infographic. Let's jump into Canva so we can start creating it. I'm going to start up here with create a design and you can actually see right here, I have the option to select infographic. But before I do that, I wanna actually show you something here. If I start typing it out, look what happens. So if I go to just plain infographic, that's gonna be like a blank infographic and I'm gonna get, you know, I'll see all these different templates, but look at this, I can narrow it down. So if I know I'm working on a particular type of infographic, I can start to narrow it down. Something I already noticed here is timeline infographic, and that's exactly what I want. That's what I'm gonna do for my company history. So you can see here on the left, there's all these different templates. Now, the first thing I want to point out to you is you'll notice like on this second one, notice how when I hover over it, it's got a little crown and it says pro that's, that means that I would not have access to this unless I have the pro version of Canva. Don't let that stop you. Cause as you can see, like this very first one, this is free. Um, so is this one. So is this one. I like, look at all the free templates. So as I'm looking at these templates, I kind of like, I like the way this first one is, uh, is set up. I like the way it's got the years and it's got the pictures next to it. Now, uh, I just clicked on it and that's what brought it in here. And then to zoom in, I'm going to go down here and I'm just going to drag this little circle so that I can zoom in and see what I'm working with. Once you pick your template, now you're gonna want to start customizing it for your project. Anything you see on here is customizable. One of the first things I'm gonna to wanna to update is the text because this is not the name of my company. And to do this, I'm just gonna simply double click. It's gonna select all the text, but I really, maybe I'm only gonna do this. I'm gonna click, click here and I'm gonna highlight this part and I'll type in the company name because as you may have may or may not have noticed, that is the name of the company here in the PowerPoint. So I've updated that. I could also go in, I'm gonna zoom in. I could also go in and start updating these text areas. Again, I'll just double click. Company was founded. Then I'll go here. Let's see, this was an angel investor. Now I'm, I'm just doing these first couple as an example, but you see how you can go in, you can easily update the text. The other thing I'm probably gonna need to do, well, I am going to need to do, I need to update the dates because my timeline here, see, it wasn't found until 1990. So the dates are a little, they're not, they don't match obviously. So that's something else I'm gonna go in and update. And again, I'm just doing these first couple just to show you, but. This is what you'll do is you'll, you'll just start to go in and you're going to start to customize these. Oh, I'm also going to click this, get that out of the way. All right. Now 
Another thing I'm going to want to update will be the color scheme. Like right now it's kind of this orangey red color and I think I don't want that. So I'm going to, I'm going to highlight this text and then I'm going to go up here to where it's text color. And for text color, now I'm going to have a few little options here. You see document colors. There's a brand kit, which that's only if you have the pro version. There are photo colors and then there are default colors. If I type in a color, like let's say I type in like it suggests blue, I actually can get many more color options from doing that. Another way I can get more colors is to use the hex code. I happen to have the hex code for this gray circle. So if I grab that, there's that gray. And now if I click on this gray, it's gonna change the color of this. And then the other really cool thing is, down here, it gives me the option to change all. It says, hey, you change that to gray, do you wanna change the rest of the orangey red text? And I'm gonna say, yeah, change it all. So now, in just one click, instead of having to click on each one of these individually, they are all updated. And then I can do the same thing to these lines as well. So these lines also have that orangey red color. If I click on one, I can go up and hit line color. And then let's maybe make that black. Once again, I'm gonna get that option to change all. And I will use that. And once again, look at that. All of the lines have been changed along with the bottom bar here. And then while I'm down here, I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of this because I don't need, I'm not sending my class to a site. So I'll get rid of that, learn more. Nope, don't need that. And all I'm doing is I'm, I'm hitting delete on my keyboard or I can hit the trash can to delete. So that is what you're going to do with these templates. You're just gonna go in and start making changes to things like the colors and the words. I can also change the font if I want. I, I should show you that real quick. So if I click on this, it's I can see it's this font right now, Nord Bold, but if I wanted to, I can click the drop down and they have tons of different fonts. So if there's a particular font you wanna use, you can certainly update that as well. Now what about the background? Yes, I can change the background as well. I just click here and then over here at the top left, once again, I have the color option, background color. I'll click that and yeah, I could change that to a different color. I like this color for now, so I'm, gonna, I'm just gonna leave it like that, but you could certainly change the background color. I can also remove these elements if I want. Maybe I don't like these little speckles, so I can click it and I can delete if I want, uh, or I can leave them there. All right, and then one more thing I want to show you on this particular infographic is how I can update the pictures. So I picked this because I liked the, the years, I liked having the description where I could tell the story, and then I liked having these pictures. But obviously I don't want this picture, right? This picture of these two kids, that has nothing to do with the company I'm creating this for. So what I'm gonna do with this is I'm going to right click and I'm going to detach image. And check this out, I get this really nice picture placeholder. And what I love about this is when I bring in my picture, I don't have to worry about resizing it because this placeholder is gonna do it for me. Let me show you what I mean. So for this one, because it's about the founding of the company, I think I'd like to have a picture of the company founder. So what I'm going to do, now that's probably not going to be available in the stock photos that Canva has. So what I'm gonna to need to do is go to uploads and I'm gonna to need to go to upload files and then tell it where my picture is that I wanna bring in. Now I've already done this and it's right here. So here's my founder. I'm gonna click on it and that's gonna bring that picture in and what I'll do is I'm going to drag it up. I'm going to drag it up here and look when I kind of hover over the placeholder and then I'm going to release the button. Look at that. He's right there. Perfect. 
So I didn't have to resize or anything. I just dropped it and Canva did the rest, which is great. Uh, and then this one of the kids that I detached, I can just delete. Once I've gone through and I've made all the updates that I want to make on the dates, on the text, on the pictures, and I have it looking the way I want, now I'm ready to download it. And to do that, I'm going to go up here to share. And then here I'm going to click on download. Now, if I know this is going to be a handout or some kind of job aid and I just want it to be standalone, I could do a PDF like it's suggesting. But in this case, I'm going to be putting it into a presentation. So I want a picture file. So I can do a JPEG. I can do a PNG. I think I'm going to do a PNG in this case. And I'll click download. And then that's going to download onto my computer. So now I'm ready to go back to my PowerPoint and here's my company story. I'm going to go ahead and get rid of this because now I got my fancy new infographic. Now I'll go to insert pictures, this device. Now I'm in my downloads. I'm going to grab that insert and there is my infographic. Now, that's going to be hard to read on the slide, so I'm probably going to need to make some adjustments. Like, for example, I would probably crop it, and then I could either distribute it across, you know, I could maybe duplicate the slide and crop it and, you know, focus on each year. Or another option would be to crop it, and maybe I'll do animations, you know, and I'll animate each year um, for the company history, you know, something like that. And then, of course, uh, another thing that's really nice now that I have this PNG file is I can take it and maybe I can, you know, maybe I want to make it into a handout. So I can paste it into a Word document and maybe do some stuff. And maybe I make it into a worksheet. You know, this is something maybe I put some lines to the side. I hand this out and then my learners can take notes um, or maybe I create some kind of activity, you know, where they have to answer questions. I mean, there's all kinds of things I can do with it. As you can see, it is super easy to create a nice professional looking infographic when you use Canva. Now, if you don't have Canva, I want to remind you again to use the link in the description below. Not only does it help the channel, but you will also get a free trial for the pro version if you want to try that out. Now, if you already do have Canva, what are you waiting for? Get out there and start creating a new infographic. And before you go, I just want to say thanks for watching, and we will see you next time.